was looking at her. So don't tell me you have not gone there. In your family, I see what they are doing. Throwing something like this, nyanga. Amen. Huh? It's true. That this is what I see. So when I look at you, I, 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 I watch that. Sometimes I might not be opportunity to talk to you. But when I look at you, I see. Hallelujah. Amen. Seeing it is not a solution. When I see it and I see solution, then I speak to you. God is going to give you a better job. Amen. And your life will Thank change you. because you have struggled too much. Amen. Thank you. you have struggled too much. There's no joy. Rejection, rejection, rejection everywhere. No joy. Yeah, this one has cry, cry, cry. Even the only thing is, should I die or should I live? That's true. Yes. You will not die, you will live. Amen. And you will glorify God. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come here. She's free. So we understand that the man of God locates you to among the congregation today at the Sunday Life Service. Can you please just tell us what the man of God told you? Actually, he told about my relatives, the way they are doing things to me. They are like rejecting me, uh, saying things that I did not do, accusing me of the things that I didn't do. And as he said those words to you, do you confirm those words from the man of God to be true in your life? Yes, they are true. I was looking at her, so don't tell me you have not gone there. In your family, I see what they are doing. Throwing something like this, nyanga. Amen. Huh? It's true. That this is what I see. So when I look at you, I, 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 I watch that. Sometimes I might not be opportune to talk to you, but when I look at you, I see. Hallelujah. Amen. Seeing it is not a solution. When I see it and I see solution, then I speak to you. God is going to give you a better job. Amen. And your life will change because you have struggled too much. Amen. Thank you. you have struggled too much. There's no joy. Rejection, rejection, rejection everywhere. No joy. Yeah, this one has cry, cry, cry. Even the only thing is, should I die or should I live? That's true. Yes. You will not die, you will live. Amen. And you glorify God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come here. She's three. Can you please just elaborate um, how they are true and how his words are significant in your life? Uh, it's like when you say it, uh, even in your lineage, in your relatives are doing some things, because like recently, you know, it's not even a lot. They accuse me of taking some of the things, but that I didn't even do. Even when I tried to explain to them that I didn't do these things, but they didn't even give me that chance to, to explain it. There's no joy. Rejection, rejection, rejection everywhere. No joy. Yeah, this one has cry, cry, cry. Even the only thing is, should I die or should I live? That's true. Yes. You will not die, you will live. Amen. And you glorify God Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come here. And as you received the prophecy from the man of God at that particular moment, what was going through in your mind? Actually, at first, like, it would be like you are somebody else or at the other place. I couldn't believe it. My heart was pumping fast. And as you received those words, from the man of God um, concerning your family and the things that, are, that they're doing to you, do you believe that your life will change for good? Yes, I do believe. And he also said, I will receive a good job as I'm, I'm looking for a job as I am. God is going to give you a better job. Amen. And your life will Thank change you. because you have struggled too much. Amen. Thank you. you have struggled too much. And how many years have you been unemployed, man? Actually, I was fired recently. Uh, 
end of January. And how has your life been affected due to your status of work? It's not easy to live without uh, um, uh, finances because as I am I'm a mother to my children, the only is the man this and that, so if you're not working, it's not easy. And Mem, just for interest for the viewers, did you by any chance sit with the man of God prior to your encounter with him and actually tell him some of the things that um, you're going through concerning your family and your, your life in terms of work? Actually, it's my first time to come to this church and it's my first time to serve the man of God. And as you receive the prophecy from the man of God, do you actually believe that your life um, will actually change in terms of the relations you have with your family? Yes, I do believe because he didn't know anything about me and I didn't tell him anything about myself.